Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create your own retro constructivist design text poster. I provided a Photoshop file that you can download so you can follow along. Its link is located in the video description or project files. It includes two paper images that we'll use for textures. We'll make a copy of the folded paper by pressing Ctrl J on a PC or Command J on a Mac. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Blur it two pixels. We'll use this blurred paper as a displacement map. The displacement map will conform our text and graphics to the contours of the folded paper. Go to Layer and Duplicate Layer. Click New and type in Displacement. Then click OK. Go to File and Save As. Save it to your desktop as a PSD file. Then click Save. If you see this window, click OK. Close the tab of the displacement file. We can trash the blurred paper since we saved it to our desktop. We're ready to add text. It could be lyrics, a poem, a speech, or an excerpt from a book. Anything you find inspirational. For this example, I'll choose the prose poem by American writer Max Ehrman entitled Desiderata. Highlight your block of text and press Ctrl or Command C to copy it. Then, in a new browser window, type in wordle.net. Wordle automatically generates designs called word clouds comprised of text. Click Create. Click inside the blank area and press Ctrl or Command V to paste your text into it. Or you can also choose to type out your own text in this area. You can make specific words larger in your design. The size of a particular word is directly proportional to the number of times that word appears in your block of text. For example, since I want the word peace to be one of the largest words in my design, I'll type it or copy it six times. I'll continue to highlight and copy words that I want to stand out. Since I'd like the word God to be the largest, I'll add it the most amount of times. When you're done, click Go and Wordle will create a word cloud featuring words that appeared most in your body of text. Click Language. I'd like to make all the text uppercase, so I'll click on it. Click Font and choose a typeface. You may have different fonts that are listed here. For this example, I'll use League Gothic. Click Layout. I'll choose straighter edges and mostly horizontal. Click Color. You can opt to create your color palette or choose one of the presets. For this example, I'll choose Milk Paints. You can also opt to keep the exact palette colors or choose degrees of variation. For this example, I'll choose a little variation. Click Open in Window and maximize it to full screen. Press the Print Screen key at the top of your keyboard. It's located to the right of the F12 key. Then close the window. Minimize your browser and go to File and New. Then click OK. Press Ctrl or Command V to paste the full screen image onto your document. Press Ctrl or Command E to merge these two layers into one. Press Ctrl or Command A to select it and Ctrl or Command C to copy it. Click on the tab of the original PSD file that you downloaded and press Ctrl or Command V to paste the Wordle image onto it. To get rid of the information above and below the words, 
You can paint them out using your brush or pencil tools or open your rectangular marquee tool and carefully drag a rectangle just over the words. Invert the selection by pressing Ctrl or Command Shift I. We'll fill it with white and since white is the background color press Ctrl or Command plus Delete. To delete the selection press Ctrl or Command D. Drag the top layer below the stained paper layer. Click off the eyeballs of the paper layers to hide them. Press Ctrl or Command G to make a group folder and Ctrl click or Command click on the thumbnail of one of the paper layers to make a selection of its shape. Click on the layer mask icon to make a layer mask of the selection next to the folder. This will apply the layer mask to all the layers that are and will be in this folder. Click on the word layer to make it active and click on the new layer icon to make a new layer above it. Drag out a rectangular selection approximately a quarter inch in from the edge of the poster. Invert the selection and fill it with white. Then delete the selection. We're ready to frame it with angular color shapes. Make the word layer active and open your pen tool. Click Shape. If you have CS5 or earlier, click this icon. Click on the Fill Color box and this icon to open the color picker. Click on a character to pick up its color and click OK. Click outside the poster, release your mouse or pen, and click again near a character. Release and click again outside the poster. Release and click to another point still outside the poster. Release again and click on the first point to close the path. You know you close the path when you see a small circle next to the pen symbol. To create a new angular shape, Click on another area outside the poster and repeat the steps. Click on the Fill Color box, the color picker, and click on a character that has a different color. Continue to make angular shapes filled with colors picked up from characters on your design. Make as many shapes as you like to frame your design. If you want to close the color swatches, press Enter or Return. If you want to reposition a shape, press Ctrl or Command T to open your transform tool. Then click on the shape and move it. To adjust the angle, go to a corner and when you see a curved double arrow, Rotate it to an angle you like. Then press Enter or Return. I'll pick a different color for this shape. Then I'll close the color swatches. To hide the path, press Ctrl or Command H. I'd like to add the name of this prose poem here on this shape, so I'll open my horizontal type tool and choose a font. I'll use the same font as I chose in Wordle, which was League Gothic. The size is approximately 95 points, sharp, left alignment, and black for the color. Type out your text. To reposition it, open your Move tool and move it over one of the shapes. To angle it, open your Transform tool and rotate it. You can also resize it if you like. When you're happy with its size, angle, and position, press Enter or Return. To change its color, click on the FX icon and choose Color Overlay. Click on the color box and pick a color. I'll choose White. I'll close the color picker and the layer style window. Scroll down to the bottom and make the background active. We'll fill it with white 
and since white is the background color, press Ctrl or Command plus Delete. Make a composite snapshot of your image by pressing Ctrl Shift Alt E for Windows or Command Shift Option E for a Mac. Make the background active again and press Alt or Option plus Delete to fill it with black. Make the composite snapshot active and drag it up and place it just below the stained paper. We're ready to add the displacement map to the poster. Go to Filter, Distort, and Displace. Make the horizontal and vertical scales 5, the displacement map stretch to fit, and the undefined areas repeat edge pixels. Then click OK. Open your desktop, click Displacement, then click Open. Notice there are subtle but important displacements in the shape of the text. Control click or command click on the thumbnail of one of the paper layers to make a selection of its shape. Press Control or command J to cut the poster from its background using the selection and copy it to its own layer. Now we can trash the composite snapshot since we don't need it anymore. Make the stained paper active and visible. Change the blend mode to multiply. Make the folded paper active and visible. Change its blend mode to multiply as well. Notice how the displacement map wrap the text and shapes around the contours of the folded paper. To make your poster a bit brighter, make another composite snapshot and open your levels window by pressing Ctrl or Command L. Drag the input white slider to where the histogram begins to rise. Then click OK. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.